We're literally sleeping in a dome tonight. Bougie beds in Frances. So the three of us go running. We left home to travel the world and brought work with us. Follow the journey as we immerse ourselves in cultures around the globe and inspire others to do the same. We're Brandon and Aaron. Subscribe and stay tuned. The W Trek is one of the most well-known treks in South America and we are taking it on with Aaron's sister Mary Beth and two of her friends, Lauren and Rachel. The first two days of the trek offered views of Grey Glacier, a walk along a giant suspension bridge, and constant beauty surrounding us. The last three days tested our physical and mental strength. Good morning, it's day three on the W Trek. So we just started our hike to Italiano. It'll be about a three hour hike, then we'll leave our bags and then hike to this viewpoint that's about two or three hours straight up. Come back down and we'll camp, not camp tonight, we'll be staying in bougie beds in Frances. Almost to Italiano, and it's been a really beautiful hike. It's very hot today. We thought we were gonna have cold, windy weather. It's been beautiful today. Really didn't prepare. Mambo Italiano. We're setting our packs aside, packing up the tea pack, and then we're gonna have a three and a half hour hike up to the viewpoint. What are we seeing? I don't really know, that's just what everyone tells us to do. And then we'll hike back down to Italiano, grab our stuff, then hike to our next campsite, Francis. We get to have a bed tonight. Oh, oh my god. god. That's crazy. Avalanche is happening right now. It's crazy how it just looks like smoke. Yeah. We heard it first and then we saw it. Cool. We got to see a full on real life avalanche. We heard another huge thunder crack. We didn't have a good viewpoint of the mountain. So the three of us go running up this like river. I'm not sure if it was even the trail. We're just like running up this river with all these rocks. Got to this viewpoint and it's, it's gone. I have never seen an avalanche before, and we saw like four. How many did we see? Three? Maybe three.
purposes of Britannico viewpoint, we saw a mile marker and it said it was going to be 1.8 kilometers more. So that's just over a mile. And we seemed to be walking for so long and not coming to the viewpoint. So we came to this thinking, oh, okay, this must be it. But then there's still posts further up. The real question is, we don't think it really can get much better than this. I mean, it's really stunning. So we might just stop here. I think they're gonna go onward. We're gonna go back and they'll show us the pictures. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> we just got back to the Francais viewpoint. And honestly, this viewpoint is, to me, better. Because you get up close and personal with this beautiful mountain and you get to see all of the intricacies. But then you also have these awesome mountains behind you. And you get a closer look at the lake and the little islands. In conclusion, if you're doing the W Trek and you're thinking about doing the hike from Italiano up to Frances and Britannico, maybe you get to Frances and say, this is good enough for me. I don't need to go any further. That's how I feel. We're leaving Italiano and heading to Frances. We told the girls that we would wait for them at Italiano, but then we realized that they won't be here until like five and it's about three now. I asked the ranger for a piece of paper and a pen. I wrote a note for them, put it on their backpack. The ranger gave me chocolate. I gave him a traveling atlas sticker and now we're friends. <laughs> And tonight, all of the camping tents were booked up. So Marybeth actually booked us what we thought was gonna be just like a hostel. Turns out it's actually a dome. We're literally sleeping in a dome tonight. So let me give you a little tour. This fire we put on at night to make the entire dome warm. Here we have private showers and toilets. Hot water, I'm excited to take a shower. Best part. It has a comfortable bed, light, and USB chargers. And then the other girls will be here and here. You get a really cute view of the lake. And apparently it's just the five of us tonight, so we have the whole place to ourselves. So we're eating vegetable lasagna. It's beautiful and it tastes beautiful. The best vegetable lasagna I've ever had was in Lima, Peru, but it's the best lasagna you could ever have out of a bag. So I'm enjoying it greatly. Good morning. Because it's been pouring rain for about five hours, like since 3 a.m. Um, so we're just making some food inside, which we don't know is allowed, but we're doing it because we don't want to go outside in the rain. We are going to hike about six and a half hours to um, Central. I'll show you how prepared I am. Three layers on the bottom, four layers on top. Buff, hat, hood. Waterproof pants, waterproof shoes, wool socks. I'm not happy about this, but at least I'm protected. So we're all waterproofed and ready to go. Uh, it's going to rain all day, it seems, so we'll see how our waterproofing gear holds up. Let's do this. It's weirdly pretty. Kind of reminds me of like a Twilight movie. It has this smoky, majestic grayness to it, which I think I'm appreciating right now, but later on. I feel like we're 
a wet dog locked outside <laughs> watching the family have fun. Maybe they're having Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know. It's not that dramatic. We just walked from Frances, and along the way we stopped at Cuernos, which is another campground. And so we're just taking a little break, but that's why Aaron's so sad, because people are having lunch inside, dry, warm. It smells good. It does smell good. But we're continuing on, and we're going to Refugio Central. how far along we are in this hike. We've had a lot of ups and downs, literally and figuratively, because I slipped down the hill, but feeling good, got back up. It's still raining, but not a lot. We're just gonna keep marching. Yeah, we see a feeling? Alright. How you feeling, Bran? Feeling good. Yeah. Ready for it to be over. <laughs> Noga and Ivan <laughs> from Israel. So if we wanted to go to Chileno today, there's a shortcut, so we could take a left here, but we're gonna go to Central because we will be going to Chileno tomorrow. This is where we leave Ivan and Noga because they are going to Chileno today. Hey, we see you tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Update. So we saw the houses from afar, and I got really excited. I was like, woohoo! 30 more minutes. This path is taking us on a circuitous route. It's like an optical illusion. The houses keep getting further away as we keep walking. We must power on in order to get there. Rock talk with Lauren. All right, so we got some rocks over there. You can see that they're not flat. They're tilted and you can see clearly a different kind of rock that is intruding through the other rock. Facts. It feels like we've reached this haven in the middle of nowhere. While we're not at our campsite, the sign of the hotel shows that we're not too far away. I just want to get one chair, it looks so good. We are leaving the hotel and we have a 20 minute walk to our campsite for tonight in that direction. We made it to Camping Central. And it is very chilly. We're gonna go check out the Refugio, which is across the river here, because now we can't not have a bougie camping experience. Pretty cloudy right now, so you can't see the Torres, but I'm hoping once we get up to Chileno, you can see it and the clouds have moved. It's It's been a long five days. Yes, it has. But we are ready to finish it out today and then go back to Puerto Natale. So I was gonna say home, but really our home right now is the car, so yeah, going yeah. home. <laughs> Starting our track. So they have two hours to come out and play with us. <laughs> yeah. So we got up to Chileno in about an hour and 15 minutes from El Central and they said it was going to take like three hours. 
you can't see the Torres from here. So Brandon and I were thinking we're just gonna head out right now, try to get to the Torres, so we're gonna sprint. So we think we're about halfway up. We've been basically hike running <laughs> up the mountain and uh, keeping a great pace. We've got hopefully 30 minutes to make it back up. We've got an alarm set for 10.15. No matter where we are, we have to run back because we got a 2.30 bus to catch. Yeah, we didn't really explain this. Why we're pushing it into overdrive right now is because there's two options for a bus, 2.30 or 7.45. And we really want to make the 2.30 bus. We just want to get back to Puerto Natales. Right now, it's still really cloudy though. Yeah, it, we probably can't see it, but at this point it's kind of like, I just want to make it there since we're running, be sad to stop early. So we're gonna go. It's just past 10 15. Our alarm effectively went off, but we're so close to the top that we're just going to try to power through. We decided 10 30s are absolute cutoff to be able to make the 2 30 bus. <sighs> we're pretty exhausted, but we're just going to make one last push. Go up. And I don't think we're even going to be able to see it. <laughs> the clouds are really thick now. So we've made it to our base. We basically just realized we're not going to see it. <laughs> it's right there and it's like actually snowing a lot right now. So I think it's still going to be a pretty intense journey down because this last uphill was pretty hard. We're going to bundle up, head back down and I hope that the girls get a better view of it because at this point I'm making the 2.30 bus. <laughs> no matter what we do, we're going to make that 2.30 bus. So that's our new goal. We got pretty close, but I mean, they really should feel like we could touch them and we can't see them at all. We met up with Mary Beth, Rachel, and Lauren, and they are heading on up. They have the toughest part ahead of them. <laughs> uh, we're feeling okay. Not excited for the uphill, but excited that maybe these clouds will clear by the time we get up there. We've got a little bit of snow between now and then. Can't wait. <laughs> So we made it back to El Central and we're going to go wait for our bus, but guess what? The clouds have dispersed, so hopefully the girls have a good view. The Cam reporting to you from Mirador Las Torres. Uh, when we arrived here a while ago, it was cloudy and snowing and you couldn't see anything, but we waited out under a rock <laughs> huddling for warmth. <laughs> We've been rewarded with these views behind us of the Torres. They formed from an igneous intrusion through sedimentary rocks and then the softer sedimentary rocks eroded away and all that is left are these granite towers and that is rock chocolate pouring. <laughs> Setting our packs aside, we're setting our packs to warm our bodies and souls. Super hiker. Here we go. Okay, now everyone do your best penguin walk. 